one thing about public transport, uh, it's shit. It's got a lot of problems, dude. It's, it's throwing oil everywhere. The turbo is fucked. Beyond destroyed. But I care a lot. Motherfucker. Yo, 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 everybody. Welcome to a very special video. As you've seen, this is the reveal of my car. If you're American, you've never seen these cars. You've never seen Lancias, probably. But if you're in Europe, you've never seen these cars either, because this is a very, very rare car. It's a very special car. It's a very unique car. I'm not saying it's a good car. Uh, you know, don't get me, don't get me wrong here. But it's my car. It's finally, I finally have a car. Uh, I've lived my life as a peasant. I've only ridden buses all my life, public transport, and one thing about public transport, uh, it's shit. So, I want to talk about a few things about the car. It's, uh, it, you can see it's very special, orange, you don't see orange cars very often, especially 90s I, Italian hot hatches, obviously a hot hatch, that's, uh, that's not really right, because this, uh, this is a 1.9 TDI, 90 horsepower, 190 newton meters of torque, that's at least that's at least something you can say. Um, Engine-wise, it's it's trash. The intake manifold, the exhaust manifold, they're on the same side, so you know that's always good. Single overhead cam, the best you're gonna get, you know. That's well, that's what everybody desires. Uh, let's talk about the most obvious thing about the car: the paint job. Now, the paint job is shit. Everything, absolutely everything about the car will be everything about the paint job will be redone. Now, I'm not too sure which color I'm gonna choose. Is it going to be Lanty or Red, you know, because this is, after all, a Delta. You know, it's got, it's got rallying heritage. Even though this one's very sad, a very sad rallying heritage, you know. But I'm definitely going to remove those uh, flames on the hood. Because, you know, it's, you, you can't have flames on your hood. But, you know, the car, the car has factory, factory white body. Or you know flared f fenders, which is uh, which is quite good. The car looks nice. You know, obviously, the wheels I've got on the car right now. Uh, oh god, you know they're awful. I've got tractor tires on it, so you know I can go off road. But the problem with those tires is that is that they're way too large and they're kind of breaking my uh, my rear bumper is already fucked because of the tires. It's just uh, the only reason I'm using those tires is because I've got winter tires on them, so, you know, I've, I've got to roll with that. So, as you can see, the car has a few rust problems. I mean, it's it's quite a big problem, as the, the rear quarter panel is about to fall off. It's actually very... If it's if the road's bad, it vibrates, and you can hear it. You can literally hear my rear quarter panel vibrate, because it's not connected to jack shit right now. All of that will be fixed come spring. Everything will be fixed come spring. Right now, in the middle of winter, I'm not going to be fucked with that, you know. Them, you know, I'm not gonna be fixing the suspension, which, oh my, I'm not even gonna talk about suspension, it's just So, the interior, it's, it's very 90s. The car is, after all, a 92 car, even though mine is a 99 model last year, facelift. The interior is, as you can see, it's basic, high-performance executive style. At night, it looks fucking amazing. It's, it's this giant blue dash with blue buttons everywhere. It's got space for a nice, a nice shiny boost gauge right in the dashboard, which will be amazing. It's going to look all nice and shit, even though it's, it's got only 90 horsepower. But that brings me on to the next point. It's a fully mechanical diesel car. What does that mean? You can easily make power just by turning up the boost or just turning up the, the fuel pump pressure. You're just gonna throw more fuel into the car and it's just gonna make more power. The car has got problems, but it also runs, which is the main thing about my existence because I am going to kill myself when I, if I ever step in a bus again. It's just a very interesting car, it's very unique. I'll be the only one at the car meet with a car like this. No, no, you know, it's very special and that's going to be the goal of this build. To make this even more special and cleaner because it's not very clean right now, but I've got, you know, the car has a bright future in my hands now that it's uh, mine and not my dad's who would have killed it eventually. But I don't, I don't I plan on not doing that unless I crash. 
a possibility I'm not gonna lie you know it is it is what it is if it happens it happens <laughs> this car can drive on cooking oil and has and has driven on cooking oil for thousands and thousands of kilometers and guess what <laughs> chances are I'm going to use cooking oil too but right now it's a bit too cold for that shit and I'm definitely going to make a video on that because I mean that's just wild you driving on cooking oil like it's fucking nothing also it smells very nice uh, to the people at the back you know you rev it at the stoplight and you know it smells like it smells like fries it's just, and that's just enjoyment so my uh, executive producer <clears throat> director told me that this video has gotten a bit too negative about the car so I'm gonna talk I'm gonna say a few good things about the car and uh, those things are it's, it's very nice it's very, very fuel efficient. I mean, we're talking about seven liters uh, city, seven liters per 100 kilometers city. The car is very easy to drive, very comfortable in city. It's just, it's just nice, you know, to be in it. Obviously it squeaks and rattles a bit. So if you enjoyed the video, give it a nice thumbs up. If you didn't enjoy the video, don't do anything or leave a comment explaining why you didn't enjoy the video. But in my opinion, this is the best video I've ever made. Uh, it's mainly because of the, the help of my friends and the production company we've got we've gathered here. We've got professional stuff all around and we've got blood, you know, we've got blood for the future videos, fake blood. I mean, it's fake blood. It's not real. If you, if you were thinking, um... <laughs> also, we drive Subarus around here. Thick vapes, boys. Thank you for watching and I'm gonna see you in the next one.